Hello everyone. Now the next experiment that we have is again on Wheatstone Bridge. Based on Wheatstone Bridge of Meter Bridge. In this case what we are doing is now we have to find out the combination of resistance in series. That is we have to verify the laws of combination. For us we have chosen a series combination. So now we as in the <coughs> previous video of finding the standard resistance the setup remains the same. That does not change. But instead of one resistance here now, we will have two. So we perform exactly the same experiment but now with two resistance. So first what we are going to do is uh, in, in case you want to understand the working of Wheatstone bridge and its, the meter bridge and its principle, please refer to the first video in which previous video in which we have found the unknown resistance using meter bridge. So once again to repeat for uh, those who have just uh, watched this one. This is called a meter bridge because it has a wire 1 meter long, constant in wire whose value is it's an alloy with a high resistivity value and it is giving me contributing 2 arms of the Wheatstone bridge. So this is the main purpose. Now before you start the observation, I forgot to mention in my previous one, you have to write down the least count of the meter scale and least count of the galvanometer. Please don't miss out on all these uh, values. These are very important when we prepare an observation table, there has to be clarity regarding all these values. So now coming to this circuit, this experiment, first we will verify the value of R1, R2 and then we put it in series as R and then calculate the value. So what we get as R1, R2 experimentally, it should be nearly the same experimentally again, theoretically when uh, experimentally when we calculate with the help of Wheatstone bridge principle. Okay. So first we will take one reading I will show you with the help of R1 and one with R2 and two readings I will show you with R1, R2 put in series. So this is R1 already there. So we will take the first reading. Same copy. Hmm. Hmm. It's a separate video. We'll take out 5 ohm from the standard resistance box and locate the balance point. By checking the two ends of the meter bridge, the deflection should be in two opposite direction. Now gradually move the jockey over the wire so that the galvanometer needle is at zero. Take the reading 49.9. So that is our first reading. Now with the second resistance. So look, we will show you the second one also. Remove point 1 from the standard resistance box. Take the second reading. Please do keep checking for the deflection on either side. In 50. Okay. 50 centimeter. We'll calculate later. Hmm. Now it's with the second standard resistance. Just replace this with the second one given. You will be given two standard resistances. So change the device. And repeat the same procedure with R2. Switch it on. Okay, check for deflection. Now, this is 10 ohms. Can you see that? Earlier we were using 5 ohm and this is now 10 ohm. Check for deflection. Okay, now before we begin with the observations, we need to calculate the values. What we have uh, performed the experiment for R1 and R2. 
we need first we will find out the values now by calculation you can see calculation same as in the previous experiment the value comes out to be 5.02 here comes out to be 5.1 the average is 5.06 since we have to go till the first place of decimal we can take it as 5.0 only here it is 9.8 9.8 average 9.8 sum of the two is 14.8 so that means from the resistance box we need to take out approximately 14.8 so we will here take out 14.8 and 14.9 and then verify the two values uh, the series combination using the same set of observations as we have done for r1 and r2 now actually you have to take three observations it's not that i am showing you two so you have to take two only it is three but for demonstration purpose we are showing only two observations so now we will take out the resistance from the resistance box 14.8 look at it 10 5 10 and 2 and 2 14 and this side 0 0.5 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 so 14.8 again check for the balance point Needle is at zero. See the reading. Forty-eight point nine. Forty-eight point nine. For the second one, on the right side remains the same, but on the left hand side you can see now it is point nine. So the res net resistance taken out is fourteen point nine. Check the deflection. Yes. Now for the balance point. Okay. It's reached zero. Let's see the value. Forty-nine point one. Now see, as we are increasing the value in the resistance box, the balance point is also shifting towards right. That means the balancing length on this side of the resistance box also increases. So that can be one of the viva question also. And the reason why we need to switch it off in between all observations so that this high resistivity wire, constant in wire doesn't get heated up. If it gets heated up, its value is going to change, resistivity will change and so does the resistance. We show you the value by calculation. 15.4. Now by the standard resistance, the net value of resistance that we have is 15. So finally, the two values by calculation of the resistance that we have to verify is 15.4 and 15.4, the average 15.4. Once again, I am repeating three values have three observations have to be taken, not two. These two are only for demonstration purpose. So, thus the two value of the the value of resistance in series theoretically is 15 ohm and experimentally is 15.4 ohm. Result is perfect. So, this is how you will conclude. Okay. So this is, we are done with the next experiment on Wheatstone Bridge. In the next video, we will work on half deflection, finding the galvanometer constant and resistance of the galvanometer.